everybody out there we're coming to you from the tournament with mr. Jay Kane of Kane's martial arts over here in Newark California how are you doing today sir doing pretty good thank how many students did you bring to this tournament uh, today we brought 13 students competing 13 students I know for any other tournament promoter out there hearing that uh, an instructor is gonna bring 13 students to your tournament is nothing but a blessing um, let's talk about how you heard about our tournament how did you uh, get informed about this one uh, I saw the listing on baskaonline.com and then also through Facebook great great Facebook Facebook, we do a great job. Make sure you add us on Facebook for those of you that haven't gotten a chance to. And make sure you check out our website just like Mr. Kane did here. Uh, did you register online, sir? Uh, yes, we did. Uh, uh. Do you think that online registration is, is something that you would do for every other tournament if it was offered? Yeah, it was a good setup because we were able to set up actually one account for our school and have all the students sign up through that. So then I was able to know what students were signed up and make sure they're in the right divisions. Great. I'm glad we could help you keep organized because I'm sure with uh, you know, getting here this early and bringing that many students. Any help, you'll take, right? <laughs> Definitely. Um, here at Basca, we do our best to run a well thought out event with professional judges who know what they're doing and coordinators and a staff who are passionate about their job. How do you feel about our staff? Um, it looks like today is running really well. I'm glad to see how you guys are having the referee seminars and everything, working out, uh, everybody at their own rings. It's been running really smooth today. I like it. Great, great. We try and make sure everybody's knowledgeable. That's how we have a well run events. Um, what do you love about Sport Karate? Because I believe you're a competitor as well, right? Correct. Uh, I, what I love about Sport Karate is that it allows the different styles to kind of mix together and then try to, you get the friendly one-up factor where it allows the sport to keep growing rather than having it be everyone set in their traditional ways and trying to say we're better than the other schools or anything. We get together and say, well, I've done something better. Can you do something better for me? And then allows us to keep growing as a, as a living being, basically. I totally agree with you. I, I love um, the open karate circuit. Um, now, I don't know if you're a parent, but you're definitely a karate instructor, and I know as a karate instructor, uh, you take these kids in as your own. So, what do you think some of the biggest changes that competition or martial arts in general does for your students? It helps um, build self-confidence, of course, and then also um, allowing to, since everybody has a martial arts in common here, is that you can make easy friends. You have someone that sits next to you in your event, and you already know the same thing. You don't know each other, but you can just start talking to each other because you already have something in common. So, it kind of has that good uh, uh, friendship factor. That's that. great. That's great. We all want to be, uh, you know, passionate and friendly and loyal to each other here in the martial arts because we definitely do always um, want to be respectful and honorable to our cause, and that's martial arts. Um, anything else you'd like to say, Mr. Kane? Um, no, we just thank you for uh, putting on the free tournament, getting some new students out there, and we hope to uh, be part of your guys' circuit uh, throughout the year. Great. This is Mr. Jay Kane from Kane's Martial Arts in Newark, California. Take care. Bye bye. Good afternoon, everybody. We're here live with Miss April Ramsey from Palin M2 in Castro Valley, California. How are you doing today, ma'am? I'm doing great, thanks. And I think you have a couple competitors out here. You want to give a little shout outs to your love? I do. Hey, Langston, Ramsey, Miles Ramsey. What are they competing in today? Well, Langston is about to do his kata, and Miles is going to be competing in uh, sparring, and Langston will be sparring later on. So. Great, great. Best of luck to you guys. Now, how did you hear about our tournament? Well, we've competed in basket tournaments before, so this isn't our first time. Langston actually is a grand champion, and we heard about it through our dojo, so our dojo is really supporting uh, the basket tournaments. So. Definitely, definitely. Palin's M2, you know, watch out for their tournament coming up in July. Um, let's talk about the online registration. Did you take advantage of that this time? I did. It's my second or third time using it, and I love it. It made things really easy. They retain all of my competitor information, so all I have to do is push 
a couple of buttons and it's done. That's always nice. That's always nice. With as much as much of the people compete here in the Bay Area, anything to streamline that, um, we definitely want to take advantage of it. And good thing for Basco for getting on top of that. So here at Basco, we definitely try to put on a professional martial arts tournament. How's our staff doing today? How are we treating you? Great. I'm really very impressed with things and how quickly they're moving. Things are moving on time. Not a whole lot of lag time. That's really great. When you're here all day, it makes it much easier. Oh yes. Any type of punctuality, uh, we should definitely capitalize on. Now you're a mother of, of martial arts students, but like any other martial arts parent, um, I'm sure you spend a lot of time in the dojo as well, and you see the change in people and parents and students alike. What do you think are some of the things that you can contribute um, as part of the community that martial arts has affected your kids? Well, uh, my kids have been involved in martial arts for almost eight and a half years. They've been training with Professor Max Palin for that long, and the thing that I admire most about our dojo and the community is that we're a family, and we contribute to the Castro Valley community as a family, and it's been very beneficial for my kids. It's brought them focus and a sense of what's important, so those are the things that I admire most. Excellent, excellent. We always want, you know, um, our martial arts students to be reaching out there beyond their dojo. Anything else you'd like to say? No, great job. Uh, we're really glad to be here and shout out to Palin M2 and Castro Valley. Definitely. This is April Ramsey from Palin's M2. Take care.